the kits that you buy for monitoring radon in the home is a piece of plastic that you've exposed for periods of time, typically weeks to months, and then you'll send it off to a laboratory. It is reliable, but it's just not the most effective nor the most indicative to the homeowner. So what we, we are developing is a very similar concept. It still uses track edge recording, but instead of a solid piece of plastic, we make an emulsion that contains very, very tiny nanoparticles of plastic, and within those nanoparticles are a dye. The advantage of our nanocapsules is ours don't have to be etched with a caustic base. Instead, what we do is we co-immobilize a food-safe enzyme with the capsule, such that when it's irradiated, in the presence of that enzyme, and even for long periods of time, it will etch track and open up the capsules and allow the dye to leak. And when that dye leaks, it can be observed on the surface that you've immobilized it to, providing a direct indication to the homeowner that they have a radon problem in, in their basement. What's really neat about this is it's extremely inexpensive. We make this using an emulsification process, uh, which requires an ultrasonic homogenizer and a vortexer. And that's what actually makes these particles. It's a very simple chemistry, uh, but it's very powerful. You can put a variety of dyes within the capsules, be it an optical dye or a fluorescent dye if you need more power. So we're looking for commercial partners that might want to go for the radon detection market. This could be used for uh, decontamination operations in nuclear power plants and nuclear research facilities. And it doesn't need to be a large company. It could be a very small startup that's interested in uh, providing a significant advantage in the radon detection market.